Well, what I found out is that there's various configurations you can do with this particular uh, cell group that you can scale it in any direction that you want. And um, what I've learned is that you can scale it along any of the axes. That's the easiest way. There is a 3D, there is more of a 3D configuration that I know that'll work. Oops, yeah, I'll do that. But right now, so far, I've been able to do this particular configuration on a lot of my larger ships. Mm. And it gives at least about 95% of the energy distribution that you did with the 9927. That's not bad. Cause I've, Even on large yeah. scale. Because Even on large um, scale, because this is scalable. Yes, this is an easily scalable design. You can move it, you can shape it in any way you want. Right. Uh, there may be certain methods on how to build this. I just. I wish the editor allowed you to take a pattern and then duplicate the pattern. Yeah. When that comes in there, it'll be a lot easier to make stuff like this. But then again, uh -huh. a diagonal diagonal on the build tool would do it too. <laughs> There's lots of things that would do it, isn't there? Mm-hmm. But uh, uh, this is this is how I uh, start building like one layer. Yep. Actually, this one's wrong. Ta -da. Is it? That particular one was wrong. I mean, you could build it like that if you want. But if you're uh, trying to build in larger uh, configurations, you don't want to do that. Um, you actually want to build it where I have, I call this particular part the loci in between them. And it helps me build like layers at a time because then I know I can build another cell group off of this one. Oh, I see. Like so you this. Can't, you, you can't build a cell in the middle because it's already part of the two on each side, yeah? Correct. You only want to group about seven at a time. If you go any further than that, you're going to lose in, in, uh, you're going to lose energy distribution so density. You shouldn't really group them at all. No? Well, you can group them like this if you want to keep a dense configuration. Um, the problem is, is that you don't want to go any more than that because you'll lose density. And as you can see, I've kind of I've grouped three of them together really nice and tight. Yeah, I see that. So you could do a fourth underneath easy. Yes, you could. And maybe a fifth and a sixth, maybe. No? Like a since this is the edge of the uh, group, yeah. this is how I do this one. Right, just the, the bottom out. there, because the floor's there, yeah. Right. And, and you just fill the space like this. Exactly. And I'm, all, I'm putting little singles in between them, because there's room for those, too. And then I can always add one more at the edge. I'll just use that as a, as a reference, because that's actually a loci right there. Interesting take on it. Let's see. Sometimes it confuses me when I'm looking at this. Alright. Because the end of that cell's there. Bring this out. And then you can bring these out like this. Uh, am I doing this right? I, I should be. Know. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to follow what you're doing because I've not seen it before. Well, I have a certain way that I usually do build this, and oh. um, I can't imagine with some symmetry. Well, it, it, this is currently symmetrical right now. I usually fill it, fill all the gaps in like this with yeah, shields, yeah, yeah. and it gives a pretty decent shield distribution too. Um, of course, shields can just be laid in solid chunks, and it'll work just fine. So. Mm -hmm. But what I do That's is the I thing. Open like a that. lot of the ships I've made, there aren't any empty spaces. That pu big purple one I'm working on now is the only one that's ever had any empty spaces in, really. It's just been solid. <laughs> yeah. So, and then I can stick this in here. Oops, my bad. Oh, hang on. When you said this in here, you meant where and what? <laughs> or, oh, I'm trying to throw a core in there. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, I see. And. And notice that, see, I can just fit that right in between. Let me get rid of this one for the moment. And actually, stop the press. Are you filling a 5x5 five five area right now? Just to have, I mean, I know that you're I not. can. If I filled a 5x5 five five area, you would, would get... It would give less, wouldn't it? No? If I gave a 5x5 five five area with this, it would still be... I could get it at 95-20. That's not bad at all. Because that, because that's that initial configuration that that we sh uh, that we just built actually is just one of the many slices that you could do with this. Mm. Um, I'm just trying to show you that you can just keep building it out in any one direction. Mm. Um, 
but uh, let me just slice away this for a moment. That's cool. That's what I liked about I it. I like to what hear what people's take on it, and like you know, because like the way I learned it, I put one down, and then I put mm -hmm. another one. And I, and I, I remember getting to the tenth one in a row and going, "Hang on a minute, that's not the well, same." And <laughs> it became a bit of a mystery. And I liked the meta game of you having to figure it out. And in a way, it's there's a puzzle game in just the reactors. In a way, there is, and it, I love those type of puzzles. But every time I kept building patterns. Whether it was like, you know, long, I mean, I started one, one of my earlier designs was one of your like 90, what, 8,800 designs. Yeah. Kind of yeah. like this. You did this type of design. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I mean, it works pretty well because there is a dimension aspect to the calculation of the energy mm -hmm. uh, output. Well, it's a question but, of how much space you have and how big your ship is. Well, there's, I found, I, I'm finding that it's more a question of the space and the density that you're packing them more than the, de than the actual distribution yeah. across the dimension. Um, there's more energy you can get on packing them more densely than stretching them out across a larger dimension. Mm -hmm. Though that 9927 design seems to speak against that to a point. Mm -hmm. um, because that particular des design only had five cell groups. Right, if you yeah. looked at it, but the way those cell groups were arranged is that they were stretched dimensionally. Yeah, um, yeah, it's because the second and the fourth were actually alternating. Yes. And so that would increase the dimensions in a diagonal. Mm -hmm. So it adds to it. But I read a really, I read a really long thread on the forums about it, and this has already been cracked apparently, or as close to it as they possibly can by some Lurch. guys doing some serious maths. Well, they're trying, they're trying to beat the 10K barrier, I believe. Yeah, right? exactly. I th think it's possible, but it's going to take some really strange cell group arrangement probably to do it, and it's not going to create a scalable arrangement by any means. No, it won't, no. Um, not thing, like there's, this. There's a top limit to the recharge anyway. It's, it tapers off at about 1.2 million. So for recharge, you can get you can get more than that, but it takes a ridiculous amount of blocks. You know, by that point, you may as well have just put them all down in a massive chunk. Because well, you know, you'd be surprised what we can get out of this flower right here. Yeah. I mean, right now this is giving you forty six hundred. That's not bad. And I didn't even fill in all the gaps yet, yeah. but as you can see, you can just keep you can just keep infinitely scaling this in any direction. Whoops. Well, actually, let me just leave that in there for the moment. Oops, I'm getting my Minecraft controls mixed up again. Yeah. All right, uh, get right there. There. But, um, and then, but as you can see, it just it, you could just keep spreading this out. And so you what's can the rule? How many nodes can you go off of that centerpiece? Um, well, if I was going to treat this, it like that. Like if you start off with the shield node right here, yeah. you could build six six off each side yep off of each uh, side and top and bottom right okay and then you can also put a you can also build small cells in the Cause diagonals I've say, like that because like, that's why i did a revisited because the first one i figured out i got the 9927 i was like okay cool and mm -hmm. then i'd already figured out that with symmetry you could either well at first I was actually keeping them separate because I didn't know what would happen if I put them together and then I figured out that it would be less space and, and it's quite a lot less space you know people go well what's the difference between a 5x5 five five and a 6x6 six six? the difference for that outer layer is actually massive depending on how long it is yeah you well, know, each, that, each extra outer layer adds approximately I think 45% extra output yeah, so um, something like that. I haven't really done this, the math. This is the thing, because when you do the five by five with a back gap in between, in between, mm -hmm. it's actually eleven Oops. by eleven. <laughs> yes. And then when you do the five by five mirrored, it's actually nine by nine. So the difference between the nine by nine and the eleven by eleven, what that basically means is that where you don't put them together, the energy per block is ridiculously like it's way out from where you think it should be and it's because of all the shield blocks are dead dead weight all those layers of shield blocks there's like one two but the shield blocks do pose a use too oh yeah of course of... yeah of course they're not but as you can see i am but... connecting all of the loci between each of the no each of these uh, cell nodes 
and you can see that it creates eventually a pattern. Right, right. And this is this is where you just, can just for people watching along, okay? That when he's saying the low, you're saying low psi, yeah? Low psi, low chi. I mean, it's basically you know, it's what it's based off. What is that? It's uh, it's 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 a type of term that they use in geometry when you're using um, it's a particular node that it's either an attractor or it could be f in physics so it's like positive and negative with magnets similar yes how do they uh, work right I just need to say yeah um, where it's come off what you're saying is input output and the output face you can start another one in a way, yes. You'll Once notice you that each of these patterns are separated yeah. by the shield blocks. Yes. And then they're and then they're connected in a diagonal form. So yes. you can see that all the tops here are diagonal from each other. And then each yeah. of the low side then become a spot for the next one. See, I'm just building the next one right here. Yeah. And then you can just keep filling your spaces in your ships according to this it looks pattern. like the five by five you would want to take it, it from right above where I'm at now if I was gonna make a five by five slice tutorial I'd take it from take it from the very center yeah yeah I'd take it from see because here's I'd here's the slice here, bit right here right there because that's Cause repeatable here's... isn't it in any direction no Cause I'm showing I'm showing it to you right now if you just yeah. take that cap off in the middle it'll actually it'll actually give you that pattern I there can't. you go. Yeah. I'll do it. There. See, that's crazy because it's so close to the pattern that we already have. It's actually a, just a subset of the pattern that we're building here. Yeah. And so it you're getting differently. You're getting 9520 inside that block, but every it, now it expands that density everywhere else. I've been starting to measure energy output by the it's overall volume. It's offset, so, yeah, yeah. Well, if you take 9520 and divide it by 125, you're going to get a density of around uh, 75 or so, something wow, like that. Wow, that is really good. See, the, the best I could get with the 9927s apart was 59. I mean, I was working at Yeah, 59, same. yeah. Right now I'm getting 70, over 76, which is pretty decent. Um, but if you just take that 9927 in the 5x5 five five confine itself, you're getting almost 80. Are you getting 80? With this, just well, not with this. Uh, Only with uh, yeah, sorry, with, with the 9927 in five by five. Yeah, yeah. correct. Yeah, but, but once you expand, is, it yeah, drops. It's a closed, <laughs> yeah, it's a closed system, and that's the thing. If you were gonna take the area of your power generation without taking into account how big your ship is, well, you know. Right. Now, if I can expand this particular generator across the platform I've made, the 10 by 10, and then you calculated the energy across the 10 by 10 by 10 space, which is a thousand blocks, you would get roughly somewhere between 74 and 76 uh, dense uh, energy density per block. Yeah, which is beneficial. It's better than the old pattern. So it's it's worth seeing. Is there a way to do this? It's not really possible to do this in just a five by five slice, is it? Because it, people wouldn't repeat it right. Well, to do it in a five by five slice, that's repeatable. Yeah, because it's layered, isn't it? It's like each well, layer. I could, is I could strip set. it down. To, I can strip it down to the back to the five by five slice. Yeah, like but that's this. the thing.